President Biden's infrastructure plan is facing strong resistance from Republicans and even some Democrats. Fox 51's Washington correspondent Basil John reports on efforts to find a compromise plan. That's a good start. On CNN State of the Union, West Virginia Democratic Senator Joe Manchin says the Republican $600 billion infrastructure plan is the way towards bipartisanship. I'm glad they did it. This is a way we start negotiations. They've put their best uh, foot forward, but it's a starting point. Manchin says he cannot support President Biden's $2.3 trillion plan. Like many Republicans, Manchin says it's too big. Because when you start putting so much into one bill, which we call an omnibus bill, makes it very, very difficult for the public to understand. Watch Joe Manchin. Joe's going to be a key player here. South Carolina Republican Senator Lindsey Graham told Fox News Sunday there's no way Republicans will support a $2 trillion bill. 85% of it's got nothing to do with infrastructure. The president wants to pay for his plan by raising taxes on the richest Americans and on big corporations. West Virginia Republican Senator Shelley Moore Capito is one of the sponsors of the smaller Republican infrastructure plan. So I think we've got some really good ideas that doesn't, that don't incorporate raising any taxes, but simply looks at the users and the consumers of infrastructure and says, let's pay with this. Capito told CNN State of the Union that the White House is talking with her about the Republican plan, and she says there is a path towards bipartisanship. Reporting in Washington, I'm Basil John.